السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today we'll continue uh, our course in research station and today presentation on advanced life support in adults my name is Ahmed Al-Hadidi I am emergency medicine consultant our objective in uh, today lecture uh, we will speak about cardiac arrest uh, cardiac arrest during cardiac arrest and we will talk about European resuscitation council algorithm and resuscitation council UK algorithm and uh, five top messages from European Resuscitation Council during cardiac arrest. For American Heart Association algorithm, we will talk about in a separate lecture, inshallah. This is the European Resuscitation Council Advanced Life Support uh, algorithm. As you can see, different arrows and many arrows in different directions. And we will talk about every step, uh, each one, one by one. Let's start with uh, first patient is unresponsive with absent or abnormal breathing. So patient not responsive and uh, no breathing. This is, of course, we will start basic life support. And in the same time, we need to call emergency service or resuscitation team. And we will start basic life support with chest compression, uh, CPR 30 to 2. Uh, uh, 30 chest compression to two ventilation, and in the same time, if available, attach defibrillator or monitor. Uh, with attaching the monitor, we will do assessing the cardiac rhythm, and we will find either this cardiac rhythm is shockable or non-shockable. Let's start with shockable rhythms, which are ventricular fibrillation and pulseless ventricular tachycardia, and shockable rhythm we, uh, of course, we mean the treatment is to give DC shock. And uh, we'll speak about DC shock in a different uh, uh, lecture. After, immediately after giving the DC shock, we will resume chest compression for two minutes. Immediately we will resume chest compression for two minutes. We will not assess the rhythm except after two minutes. Then going for assessment the rhythm. What is a, uh, uh, by assessing the rhythm, it's non-shockable rhythm. So for non-shockable rhythm, we will not give DC shock in pulseless electrical activity or asystole. We will immediately will resume two minutes chest compression for two minutes. And for chest compression, we mean 30 to two, 30 chest compression to two ventilation. If uh, uh, after that, we'll go and assess the rhythm after two minutes. At any time while assessing the rhythm, if we found that the rhythm is uh, uh, can be uh, uh, perfusion uh, with this rhythm, when we we'll check the pulse, if there is pulse, so this is what we call return of spontaneous circulation. This is the main part of the algorithm. Of course, uh, uh, in non shock rhythm, once we immediately resume chest compression, we will give adrenaline. IV adrenaline one milligram adrenaline uh, uh, IV. Uh, this is a different rhythm. Shockable rhythm is ventricular fibrillation and pulseless ventricular tachycardia. This is a ventricular tachycardia rhythm can be associated with pulse and different treatment and can be pulseless. And this is a cardiac arrest rhythm. Other non shockable rhythm like asystole or any rhythm with no pulse rather than as stole vf and vtac any other rhythm with no pulse this is pulseless electrical activity uh, in 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 the algorithm also we need to give high quality chest compression for giving high quality chest compression consider giving oxygen and use waveform capnography uh, to detect in the title co2 and don't forget continuous compression if you inserted advanced airway like intracale tube or laryngeal mask airway. So right now, chest compression will not continue as 30 to 2, but you will give 100 to 120 chest compression and will give breathing by back valve mask by 10 to 12 per minute. Uh, minimize interruption to chest compression is very critical to minimize interruption because with each chest compression, we are building blood column going to the brain. So try to avoid interruption to chest compression and only shifting the chest compressors every two minutes while assessing the rhythm. 
uh, of course, we need to insert intravenous, peripheral intravenous line. And if it's difficult to insert peripheral intravenous, use intraosseous access to give medication. Adrenaline, we give adrenaline after the third shock in shock of rhythm and immediately uh, uh, when uh, or as fast as possible in non shock of rhythm and continue giving adrenaline every three to five minutes or every other cycle. Give a myodrone in shock of rhythm after the third shock. And of course, don't forget to identify and treat reversible causes. Uh, to identify and treat reversible causes, which are 4H and 4T. 4H is, is hypoxia, hypovolemia, hypo and hyperkalemia and all metabolic imbalance, hypo and hyperthermia. Thrombosis, which are myocardial infarction or pulmonary embolism, tension pneumothorax, tamponade, cardiac tamponade, and toxins. These all four H's and four T's are reversible causes for cardiac arrest. And we'll talk about how to identify and treat in a different presentation. Uh, consider ultrasound imaging to identify reversible causes. Many of these uh, reversible causes can be identified by ultrasound during CPR. Also consider coronary angiography and percutaneous coronary intervention if patient uh, uh, has myocardial infarction as this perfusion will prevent other cardiac arrest. Also from new modalities, uh, mechanical chest compression is this uh, mechanical device to do chest compression. Of course, it will facilitate transfer and the treatment and with the patient and uh, new models also extracorporeal CPR. After return of spontaneous circulation, you have to use ABCD approach for management of the patient. Aim for uh, oxygen saturation 94 to 98% and normal, normal BACO2. Uh, do 12 lead ECG for the patient to identify any ischemia or arrhythmia, identify and treat any reversible causes to prevent further cardiac arrest and use targeted temperature management, which previously was called therapeutic hypothermia. Right now, it's targeted temperature management, and uh, there is different uh, uses and how to do it and when to do it. And the prognosis after doing it, we'll discuss in a different presentation. These are uh, the five top messages from European Resuscitation Council. Uh, still, high quality chest compression with minimal interruption and early defibrillation and the treatment of reversible causes are the main priority during CPR. Uh, Premonitory signs and symptoms often occur before cardiac arrest in or out of the hospital. So cardiac arrest is preventable in many cases. So if you have any critical case, uh, uh, try to avoid cardiac arrest in or out of the hospital. Use a basic or advanced airway technique. Only expert will uh, do or use tracheal intubation. Use adrenaline early for non shockable arrest. Arrest, uh, as we mentioned, immediately after uh, uh, diagnosing non shockable non shockable arrest, will continue CPR and give adrenaline one milligram intravenous. In selected cases, if visible, consider extracorporeal extracorporeal CPR as a rescue therapy when conventional ALS is failed. These are the five top messages. This is the ALS algorithm for Resuscitation Council UK. If you uh, uh, take it in, 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 in brief, you will find it's the same, the same algorithm for ERC, European Resuscitation. So uh, unresponsive and non-breathing uh, uh, will start to CPR 30 to 2 and the same time we'll call resuscitation team or ambulance will assist the rhythm. If shockable uh, will give one shock, then immediately resume CPR. If non-shockable like PA and SS2 will immediately resume CPR and give adrenaline one milligram IV. Here in the shockable rhythm will give a madrone after the third shock and adrenaline also after the sh third shock. And uh, uh, also will continue adrenaline after every three to five minutes, either on shockable or non-shockable algorithm. Thank you so much. And don't forget to like, comment, and share, uh, and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next videos.